Bernie LaRosa joined by Johns Hopkins football coach Jim Margraff. Blue Jays knock off Gettysburg 52-0 here at Homewood Field this evening. Blue Jays improved to 5-1, 6-1 overall, 5-1 in the Centennial Conference. And coach, when you come out on a Friday night, there's something about playing here on Friday night. The guys are ready to go, offense and defense tonight, it seems. Yeah, it was really a perfect night for football. Our guys were excited. Yeah, we, we, we played very well last week. I think they wanted to come out with the same excitement, enthusiasm, and energy. And, uh, and you know, I thought our guys played well. I thought our defense was dominant tonight. Uh, really did a great job. And, and overall, though, uh, you know, happy with the result. You know, anytime you see 52 points, over 600 yards of total offense, you think offense, offense. But it was the defense, really. First shutout under defensive coordinator Mickey Rearing, and, that, and that's got to feel good. Uh, we've been pl close a bunch of times but to finally get that one. Yeah, well, Mickey's done a great job, and it's my fault a few times we didn't have shutouts because I, I really feel it's important to get a lot of guys playing time when you're up by a little bit. So, uh, but he, he did a great job, and the, you know, the young guys who came in late were, were well prepared and flying around to the, for the football. So, uh, you know, Mickey's been a, a tremendous defensive coordinator. I mean, he's lost one game since one regular season game since we've been here. Uh, he's been here. And uh, yeah, really did a fine job tonight. Talk about the emotional lift, three and out, three and out, three and out, when your defense is doing that, that it provides for the offense to go out there and, and, and you know, get going because there's something emotional about having a team go three and out. Yeah, that's a prescription for victory right there. When, when you can score, get a three and out, you know, good field position, score again, uh, it, it puts teams, you know, it puts their backs to the wall. And, and uh, you know, our guys did that several times tonight, consecutive times. So, uh, again, it, it's, it's key. It's something we shoot for. It's what good teams do. Once you score, if you can get a three and out, good field position, put another one in, you're usually in pretty good shape. We were pretty balanced tonight. 315 yards passing, 292 rushing. We threw it a little bit more early, and that really opened up the running game. It's nice to have that balance. Yeah, I thought our guys played pretty well, and I was, I was glad to see us running at the end when you know they knew we were running. Uh, we, we had some, some young linemen who have been uh, really pressing for playing time, so there's a lot of additions tonight going on. Uh, but overall, I, yeah, I think both sides, offensively and defensively, I mean, offens offensively and defensively, uh, again, on the offensive side, pass game and run game, we're, we're all pretty solid tonight. 150th career Centennial Conference victory for you tonight. First coach in league history to win 150 Centennial Conference games. What does that mean? Do you, do you ever think about that? Or maybe just think about all the guys that were a part of 150 Centennial Conference wins? It means I've been here for a long time, mostly. And uh, no, it, it's nice. It's not something we think about or talk about. But um, yeah, I, I, I hopefully we just keep winning this year. Well, I know 150 is the one that just happened. Do you remember number one? I do remember number one. Well, first conference was actually against Gettysburg uh, many years ago when they were a terrific team. And, we, you know, we took over a team that uh, had gotten one and nine for two previous years, and it was our second win uh, that, that year. And it was just a, a great victory. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad to see that, our, that we've, we've had a bunch more since. Yep. Irony there. 28-14, the Blue Jays knocked off Gettysburg that day in, uh, in 1990. Now you turn your sights to, uh, to Muhlenberg, one of the big clashes on the Centennial Conference schedule every year. Always a war when we go up there. One of the great atmospheres ever in regular season conference history last year. Yeah, we, we've, we've had some terrific games against Muhlenberg. Uh, we've been going back and forth, you know, at or near the top of the conference with them for a number of years now. And last year was an, was an amazing atmosphere up there. And, uh, and you know, we, we know what we're going to get. We're going to get a great defensive team that's going to fly to the football, you know, clever offense. And, uh, you know, it, it'll be a battle, and we're looking forward to it. Okay, again, Johns Hopkins knocks off Gettysburg 52-0 here at, uh, at Homewood Field. Blue Jays back in action next Saturday up at Muhlenberg. Stay tuned to HopkinsSports.com for everything Blue Jay football.